I'm James Parkin, and welcome to Living Life, TMD style. In this video, I want to talk about something new that I've tried recently, and that is writing poetry. So I've written my first poem, and this all started a few weeks ago, really. And basically, my friend does poetry, and he's been doing it a while now. And there was this poetry event coming up, which I went to a couple of weeks ago with him. And basically, I have to go into the event and read, reading and watching people read poems that they wrote out. I thought I'd go and give it a go of writing my own poem. So I have done. It took me a few days, but. I quite like what I've written, so I hope you like it. So here it is. So here is my first ever poem. It's called A Nice Cup of Tea, A Taste Sensation. So I really hope you like it. Sometimes when you're a busy bee, there's nothing better than a cup of tea. It's a taste sensation. It's called a grip of a nation. Whether you're young or old, great when you're cold, sat on your lunch break with a slice of cake. With tea, there's so many different types. That's why there's so much hype. From builders to breakfast, green tea to herbal, way too many to mention. Yorkshire tea is my favorite tea. The square tea bag is what you'll see. It has a very unique taste, so you better not waste. Us Brits tend to have tea with milk. I know that is weird, but there is nothing to be feared. In America, they like it iced. In Asia, they like it spiced. Not too overpriced, which makes it twice as nice. Great in the morning, just as the day is dawning. Good in the evening, when daylight is leaving. Sometimes there's no better place to be than drinking a nice cup of tea. It's a taste sensation. It's called a grip of a nation. So that was my poem. A cup of tea, a taste sensation. And I really like drinking teas. Something that I've been drinking for years and I certainly really enjoy having cups of tea. And it's especially Yorkshire tea, which of course is where I'm from. So it's a special thing really. So, thank you for listening to me read my poem out. I really appreciate it. And I, I really hope you liked the poem. And I'm, over the next few weeks, going to have a go at writing a couple more. Because I certainly enjoyed uh, doing it and thinking of words to put in the poem. So, thank you, everyone. And on that note, I'll see you on the next one.